Today's lesson is about solving exponential equations. Previously, we learned how to graph these exponentials. Today, we're going to focus on solving. Uh, step one. So when we're looking at these equations, each side of the equation must be written with the same base. So just as a quick review, if we're talking about something like this, the letter A represents the base. And the x up here is the exponent. So in our equation, we're going to need both or all bases to be the same on both sides of the equation. Step two. All right. Step two, set the, oh, set the exponents equal to each other and solve it. So for example, if we have something with a base of a and has an exponent x equal to something else with a base of a, and has the exponent b, so see both things have the same base of a, we can eliminate both bases and now we just have x equal to b, or whatever the exponents are. So let's go ahead and apply that to our first example. So we have 3 to the x plus 1 equals 81. So we want to go ahead and solve for x. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to solve for x. We want to isolate x. Now the problem is x is up as an exponent. Okay, x is up as an exponent, so we need to bring it down somehow. In order to do that, we need to cancel out that 3, that base. So on the left-hand side, the base is a 3. And then all of this up here is the exponent. On the other side, the base is an 81, and right now the exponent, we don't really have one, so it's not really an issue right now. In order for those bases to cancel out, we need them to be the same. So this side on the left, we can't really do anything with that. That's just a 3 to the x plus 1. Now, is there a way I can rewrite 81 that we will have the same base as the other side, aka a 3? 3 to what power is 81? So 3 times 3 is 9, times another 3 is a 27, and another 3 makes an 81. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. So we can write 81 as 3 to the fourth power. And now since both sides have a base 3, we can cancel out those 3s and then just bring the exponents down. So x plus 1 equals 4. And now that's a really nice solvable thing. We can subtract one over. So x equals 3. Alright. So the name of the game is get the same base everywhere and we can start canceling stuff out. So let's see another one. e to the negative x squared equals e to the x 2 outside all of this times 1 over e to the third. Now e is the base on all of these, and e is just a number. We can look that up on our calculator. We can get a value for that, but e is the base. Right now, we've got e base here, e base here, kind of e base here, but it's on the bottom of a fraction. Everything else is on the top, okay, top of their fractions. The way we remember to bring that to the top is to we can rewrite it, but then then 3 becomes a negative 3. So we still have e to the x squared, all right, equals e to the negative x squared. Now they all have an e base, and if they all have an e base, then they all cancel. Boom, boom, boom. So the first term on the left, negative x squared equals, now pulling this down, that's reading as x times a 2, okay, times a 2. Oh, and then my last term is a negative 3, I apologize, not multiply, negative 3. All right, so cleaning all this up, we have negative x squared equals 2x minus 3 and just looking at that that looks like something that we've x factored in the past 
maybe bring everything to one side, it'll have three terms, positive x squared plus 2x minus 3, and then however your method is to x factor and solve that. Top number is a negative 3, bottom number is a 2, so the numbers we're looking to complete that are going to be, let's see, that's a multiply, that's an add, 3 and negative 1. Okay, but remember to get your final answers, it looks like we're going to have two answers based off of this. We take the opposite of those because there's no a value, so x is negative 3 and x is positive 1. All right, let's run through a couple more of these. So that was a little bit more advanced one. Let's go back to a simpler one. If I've got 5 to the x plus 3 equals 1 over 5. See, there almost is a 5 base. Almost. See, this one's got a 5 and this one's got a 5, but this 5 is on the bottom. So the left-hand side's okay. The other side, anytime it's on the bottom, we want to flip it to the top, but the exponent goes then from positive. So we have right now on this 5 is a positive 1. In order to flip it to the top, it's going to become a negative 1. And look at that, they both have the same base. So cancel 5, cancel 5. x plus 3 equals negative 1. Or subtracting that 3 over x equals negative 4. For example, let's take another e problem. So we have e to the 4 outside of that x times e x squared equals e to the 12. This time they all have an e base, so these are all ready to go right now. Cancel, cancel, cancel. So over here we have a 4x. plus x squared equals 12. And then just rearranging this so it's in standard form and set an equal to 0. x squared should go first, 4x second, and then subtract the 12 over, set it equal to 0. x factor, top number is negative 12. Bottom number is 4. And the two numbers that complete that should come out to a... 6 and negative 2. There is no a value here, so we don't have to worry about that. So our answers are just going to be negative 6 and positive 2. All right. Uh, one last one, another change of base kind of problem. So we've got 8 to the x plus 2 equals 16 to x plus 1. So just looking at it, left-hand side has a base of 8, right-hand side has a base of 16. I want to use the same base on both sides so I can cancel them out. If I keep the left-hand side as an 8, is there anything I can make the 16 into? 8 to the what power? If I go 8 squared, that's a 64, so that's too big. So we've actually got to break down both of these. Both of these could use a base of 2. All right, so 2 to what power gives me 8? So 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 to the third power. That's the same thing as 8. But we missed something up here. We still have this x plus 2 up here in the exponent. On this side, 2 to the fourth power gives me a 16. But remember, we still have the rest of the exponent from above that we need to attach here. So let's just take a look at it real quick. Did we change the value of this at all? No. 8 and 2 to the third power are still the same thing. 16 and 2 to the fourth power are still the same thing. But now they both have a 2 base. And because of this, we can cancel those out. So 2 and 2 get canceled. And now let's keep the exponent. So we have 3 times x plus 2 equals 4 times 2x 
plus 1. And now this is a very solvable equation for us. Distributing it out, 3x plus 6 equals 8x plus 4. And then rearrange everything, and we know how to go from here. So 2 over here. 5x over here, or x equals 2 fifths.